Thank you so much. I am so grateful and humbled. Oh, okay. I've asked Dan not to go anywhere because I've had the privilege and honor of knowing Dan Arnold for several years now and his beautiful family. And I am so grateful and honored to have Dan as a friend and because of all of the great work he has done, not only in Manassas, but all across the Commonwealth. He is unshakable in his convictions and I brought him a little something from Liberty Farm. It's some of our, of our freedom honey and a pumpkin grown in Virginia soil. So please give a big round of applause of gratitude to Dan Arnold. God bless America. Words could not possibly express what an honor and a privilege it is to stand here with you in honor and memory of the nearly 3,000 lives that were lost 14 years ago this morning. Like me, I bet all of you remember the overwhelming emotions you felt when you heard the news. I know I do. It's forever in my heart, and I know it's forever in all of your hearts. I remember my mom calling me, hysterically crying, because she couldn't reach me for many hours, and we had not yet heard from my big sister. So we prayed together on the phone. Eventually, we did hear from my sister, but I will never forget those moments for the rest of my life. We will never forget. Amen. <laughs> Before we go any further, is there anybody here that served in our military? If you have, could you raise your hand? God bless you and thank you for keeping us safe and for protecting our freedom. I also want to ask how many people here today were at the rally in Washington, D.C.? If you went to the rally in Washington, D.C., raise your hand. Let's give them a round of applause. You know, we sent a message, right? When we were there on the hill, we sent a message that we are not going away, are we? No, say it with me. We are not going away. You know, our forefathers included in the preamble to the United States Constitution, the intention of our government to protect our great nation Defending America, it was not an afterthought. Indeed, defending our beloved country was the first thought. The defense of America is not just strategic. The defense of America is also a moral goal. And this deal, the Iran deal, is immoral. <laughs> I am so inspired when I look out and see so many dear friends and leaders. To have the opportunity to be here with all of you is something that I will cherish always. But most of all, when I look out, I see unshakable conviction, unshakable conviction for our values and dedication to protecting and preserving America's values and dreams. I love America with all my heart, and Virginia is my home. You know, I grew up in a family, I'm the youngest of three girls, and we grew up in a family where my mom and my dad taught us that if we worked really hard, we could be anything we wanted. And yet, we found ourselves in a sea of overregulation. We're in a critical time here in America and in Virginia. And when I see thousands and thousands and thousands of Americans, like those that were in the rally in Washington, D.C. on Capitol Hill, I am so inspired. Aren't you inspired when you see that? That's right. I had the opportunity, the rare opportunity and privilege to experience what happens when thousands of great Americans in Virginia stand together. I witnessed coalitions being built throughout the Commonwealth and a conversation about protecting property rights. You know, George Washington, where's GW? George Washington once said, property rights and freedom are inseparable. And indeed, freedom stands on the shoulders of property rights. 
I witnessed firsthand Virginians rallying together from all over the Commonwealth, taking time away from their families, their jobs, coming to Richmond to be heard. Over seven and a half thousand Virginians signed petitions. Thousands of calls went into the General Assembly. And to have had the privilege of experiencing that and experiencing great leaders like those that are here with us today, like Delegate Bob Marshall. Where is Bob Marshall? And, <laughs> and where's, where's Mark? Right, right, yes, Delegate Byrne. Witnessing great members of the Virginia General Assembly come together to pass legislation that provides protections, property rights protections, and the ability of small family farmers to make ends meet and be viable on the land. It taught me to never, ever give up. Right? Never, ever give up. And it taught me of the great power and what we can do when we work together. So, I wanna thank you all. When I look out and see all of you, you're the heartbeat of America, and it gives me confidence that our future is very bright if we stand together. I know with each of you leading the fight, the best days of America are truly ahead of us. And I'm humbled and I'm honored, truly honored to stand here with you. If you remember anything I said tonight, please remember to never ever give up that the American dream is alive and well, and that if we stand strong, if we stand strong and if we stand together, America will always be the greatest nation on earth. God bless you all and God bless America. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.